I'm Steve McFarland. I live in Red Hook, Brooklyn, which is right on the waterfront here in New York. It's a neighborhood with a history of change. While the neighborhood's trying to develop, it's still trying to maintain the, the maritime history of the neighborhood. I think a lot of people end up in, in Red Hook because they, they want to put down roots somewhere. Sonny's Bar is a fifth generation family owned bar by the Belzanos. Uh, started out as a longshoreman bar. Because Red Hook was a, one of the big bustling ports of New York. Currently owned by Sonny, the namesake. Still a very blue collar place, but is also an, an artist hangout. Down here at the pier, I know uh, just about everybody that walks their dog and has a dog in the neighborhood. Most people know me, the cat, and I'm down here all the time. There's, if you look at the map, Red Oak just kind of sticks out there in the middle of nowhere. There's 11,000 people in Red Hook total, uh, 9,000 live in public housing. My name is Emma Broughton, and I'm a volunteer here at the Red Hook Senior Citizen Center. I've just been involved in anything would make a better community. It's a unique community. People seem to get along pretty good here. It is a great place to live because we got the gorgeous waterfront. Red Oak also has this feel of uh, a small town, not just a, a neighborhood in the biggest city in America. Hope and Anchor is really hip, trendy, aesthetically pleasing place without being like Manhattan version of hip and trendy where if you're not cool enough, they all look at you and stare. It's still a very neighborhood place where people still say hello and even if you're not your hair isn't messed up just right, they still think you're worth talking to. It's much quieter out here and it's, it's friendlier. I lived in Soho for about three and a half years and I just got really sick of how aloof everyone was and came out here for a bike ride one day uh, last spring and moved out like two weeks later, more or less. So that's Red Hook, Brooklyn, and there's a lot going on, that, and the neighborhood could go in a many, many different directions. So we're all waiting to see what happens. <laughs>